Uh, it looks certainly like Labor Party's going to hold on to this seat. It would be a well-received victory for Anthony Albanese, considering the scandals which have engulfed the Labor Party the past fortnight, branch stacking out of Victoria, and, of course, claims the, uh, the Chinese Communist Party is trying to infiltrate uh, New South Wales Labor. So a lot of pressure uh, on the opposition at the moment. We'll bring up a couple of quick graphics here, some polling courtesy of the Australian Institute, give you an idea of how this is expected to play out tomorrow night and tomorrow at polling booths. In, t in regards to the primary vote, it looks like Labor is on track with Christy McBain holding 38.1% of the vote. Uh, Fiona Cotboy's narrowly behind, 375 And then you see the National Party's vote really falling off a cliff there at 5% with Trevor Hicks. Beneath that, you've got Greens and also the other independent, uh, the Shooter and Fishers Party, which appears to be preferencing Labor. We'll show you the two-party preferred, the all-important two-party preferred here. And it looks as if Labor is on track for a narrow victory, which would mean they would hold the seat the uh, what was once a bellwether seat, now just a swing seat. We spoke to a few people out uh, at polling stations yesterday, a smattering of voters, and you get a sense of just how broadly many people are considering the issues in this by-election. Let's have a listen. I'm voting in this election, but my thoughts are about Australia. Okay. Yeah. In what capacity? Are you worried about COVID? Are you worried about defence? No, I'm worried about um, China and one certain party that seems to be in bed with them, so I won't be voting for them. So that's a big issue, but it's, it's determining how you're going to vote locally? Yes. What's on your mind? Well, I suppose making sure we don't have the bushfire problem again, because the, the smoke was particularly bad, because I'm an asthmatic, so that affected me. Um, and roads. Probably just supporting local industry. Yeah. Making sure we've got employment, you know, with the COVID stuff going on. You know, just it's important to make sure that we've still got plenty of work and keeping people employed. And what's the main issue for you ahead of this by election, in this by election? Probably energy. What about in particular? Uh, we need lots of it and we don't have enough. So, Snowy Hydro is an important project to you or? Uh, it's nowhere near enough. Yeah, Pete, when, uh, when Malcolm Turnbull was elected to Parliament, he said no issue was too small, no issue was too local. But you look at those four people there and you've got China, you've got uh, jobs, you've got energy, you've got bushfires. This was an area that was devastated by the bushfires. It'll be interesting to see mm. how that plays out. So a lot of issues at play here in a very, very big election.